This morning I thought I'd show you a way that I use to um, keep little articles that I find in magazines. I don't know about you, but I get loads of magazines come through. And in the old days, I used to rip the articles out and keep them in my little blue book. Not anymore. I use Evernote. And the way that I get them into Evernote is by using a little program called PDF Pen. Now, PDF Pen loads up quite quickly, and it has the unique ability to control my brother printer scanner. Now, the brother printer scanner I've got is an A3 unit, and it's got an A4 um, facility as well. So what I do is I take the article and I'm I'm just picking it up now. It's an article on box and I do a lot of garden work, um, plotting trees and, and what have you. And I'm going to put the article into the into the scanner and I'm going to go and use file import from scanner. Now it's a flatbed um, scanner as well as a feeder and it's set to flatbed and it'll automatically scan something in. Now there's the article that I want to save, and it's um, it's a nice little article on box, and there's about four pages in it. So the first scan in shows you the article, but it doesn't know what to scan. So Evernote, sorry, so PDF, uh, PDF pen, needs to know what I want to scan. So basically, you just put a marquee around it. Now I always do it a little bigger or just a little bit bigger than the actual um, article itself, just so there's a room for error. Now, I want it in colour. 150 DPI is OK for me, and obviously I'm using a custom size. And I'm going to save it to PDF. So you press Scan. Now the scanner lights up, and away it goes and does, does its work and brings it in. It'll open up a new dialog box to show you what it's done. And there's the first page. And... I'm quite satisfied with that. That's pretty good. So let's go back and change the page over and put in the next page in the article. And it's it's about a four-page article, and it's quite a good one. Uh, and let's press scan again. Now, notice I've not changed the dialog scan area box because it will remember this and just use it as the next scan so they all look the same. There's the next page in the article, and again, I'm happy with that. And I'll go through and I'll just quickly do the other two pages and, and just show you what happens after that. Now the scanner is quite good and I can go up to three, four, five hundred DPI, but I don't need that for this. It's just um, a, an aid memoir for me to read the article. I'm not particularly interested in the, in the, in the photographs. I can get those elsewhere. There's the, the third page in the article. And we'll just wrap over and just put the next one in. And as always, if you're struggling for time, nothing ever goes right. Isn't it always the same? Oh, here it comes. Now, what's happened is I've been too impatient again. And let's just go back. And it hasn't made anything in there. So let's go back and scan the last page in. There we go. And it's put the last page in. So I've got the four-page article in there, ready to send to Evernote. Um, what I always do is that I take the, um, the front cover and I put that in. Just as an aid memoir. I know this often is not at the top of the pages or at the bottom. It tells you which one it came from, but to be honest, because it's so easy, I always scan in the front cover of the page, so I've got it there. So let's go over here and scan it in. And you can hear the scanner bringing it in. And it puts it into the bottom of the article. Now, I don't particularly want that. I want that cover page to be at the top. So it's the front sheet of the PDF, and it opens up to that. Now, if you take this and just lift it up, if you try to put it to the top, as the top um, page, it won't do it. So what I do is I put it to near the top as I can, and then I take the, knack, the, the, the one that's actually at the top and just drop it down one. So I've got the front cover and all the other pages underneath. Then I go to File and Save to Evernote. Now, Evernote is quite an interesting system because I pay for extra space on it, and it allows me to 
um, it allows me to put in documents as a PDF and overnight or sometimes quite quickly it will actually go and um, scan through all the text it can find and then I can search on that text within PDF and it's very good. Now for some reason um, I'm getting a problem with my um, PDF today and it's not allowing it to bring up the dialog box. Oh, there we go. As I speak, it comes up. Now, as you can see, the PDF, uh, save as PDF and save as note title. Now, I tend to do both. Now, um, what I'll do for this is um, I'll save it as a uh, box box article. And let's just change that to box tree. And I'll copy and paste that into the next one, just so it's exactly the same. If I'm saving it to my hard drive, that's the one it'll use. If I'm saving it to Evernote, that's the one it'll use. Now, as you can see, I've got loads of different um, folders within Evernote that I use. To be honest, I use Skazy's notebook um, because it's the one that I put most things into. If I really want to move it somewhere, I'll go back into Evernote and I'll do it. And so um, if I press save, off it goes. It's quite a large article, um, and that's probably why it was taking its time. It was just sorting itself out. So um, it's saving it over to um, Evernote, and at some point it'll be scanned. And when I do a search in my um, Safari browser, I'm on Mac, um, it'll uh, it'll bring it up, and it'll be part of my personal archive forever. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Cheers. Bye.